Hey everyone, it's Chrissy. Just going, coming in to give you guys a nine month lock update. I'm officially nine months. Um, I made nine months on the 23rd, so I just thought I'd come in and share with you guys um, just an update of my hair and also a bit of a rant, if I must say. Not too bad, but just um, a little bit of a rant regarding my sister locks and people. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm officially nine months. I made nine months on the 23rd of December, which was last week. I wanted to come in on that date, but as you guys know, it's, you know, it's around Christmas time and the holidays and I had family and so I thought I'd just make the video after everyone left. So, um, this is, um, a result of a braid out. I actually washed my hair, um, and took the advice of, I think I saw Dakota Devaney. And I may have saw someone else do it, but I did this time when I did my wash, I did cornrows going toward the back to there end up being, and I thought to film it, but I totally forgot. So I do apologize. Next time I will do it, but I just did five, five to six. It may have been, it wasn't five definitely, but it was maybe six or seven cornrows um, going toward the back. And then I washed it and took it down the next day and it came out so nice. Because if you guys would have seen my hair before this, it was looking very dry, dull, and dusty. So, I did that. Washed it with my Sister Lock Starter Shampoo. And it's back bouncing and behaving, as you can see. Give you a little shake and go. Um, and then, I was so excited for Christmas. I really wanted, um, I saw a few ladies use this Turby Twist. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this, but I'll just kind of show it. The Turby Twist. Um, I wanted this for Christmas and my 13 year old daughter bought it so I was so excited and I used it um, after my wash and oh my god this thing my hair always has a really hard time drying like it will take forever to dry and so that's another reason kind of why I hate washing it because it's so thick and it takes excuse me it takes a while to dry this thing right here the next morning because I wash my hair about between 11 and 12 Friday night when I woke up in the morning seven or eight Saturday morning my hair was completely dry I had to actually put this on it and kept it on there for a couple hours throughout the night with my bonnet on top and then I took this off and just kept my bonnet on and usually like I said my hair is, is still wet or not soaking wet but damp so this thing really helps so if you ladies don't have one of these twisty turby deals turby twists you the name and stuff definitely get one and guys as well i keep saying ladies but i have a couple guys following me so i do apologize fellas you as well <laughs> i'm so used to just saying ladies but everyone um if you don't have one of these and i think it's no more than six bucks the one that she got me came with one they do have a set of two um that ha i think that one is between 10 and 12 dollars but it's well worth it i'm going to get more this was really a really neat thing and I love it because um I'll show you which you probably already know but after you wash your hair let's just say I just wash my hair put it on and then I have your hair that's wet you can twist it up like so and then bring it up this way like that and like I said it gets I might have I have a lot of hair and this thing gets all of my hair in there and you can see it's all covered up and then it's out of the way you can you know you can kind of walk around the house like this and let your hair kind of dry a little bit but when I tell you it soaks up a lot of water so it's definitely worth it I'm definitely gonna purchase a few more so so yeah ladies uh ladies and gentlemen I might have to get used to to the gentleman I'm sorry <laughs> um, uh, nine months in it's still I'm about I think I get my retype um, next week the next week or the week after I'm not sure I have to look at my calendar but every still everything's still looking good in there my baby lock I always like to check on this one my husband calls this lock Abby Abigail <laughs> cause she's you know, she's the smallest one of the family and the newest one, but she's really, it, this right here is really my testimony lock because 
when I tell you guys there was nothing right here in March and I used to twist and twist and twist and so it's a little far off from everyone else but that's my little baby I love it she's really growing everything's still looking good I absolutely am loving this is like my I think this is my second breakout and I'm sold like the definition it's amazing and it doesn't take long like that i left those braids in not even 12 hours and i got a really good really good result. i was gonna leave it in the whole weekend but it was my daughter's birthday she turned 13 and i had to run her and her friends out and i asked her i said do you mind me looking like this and she's like uh-uh <laughs> take those braids out i don't want to be out of public with those braids so um like I said, everything is still, still nice and neat. Uh, when I got my last retightening done, I mentioned in my last video she did my part on this side. And I actually like it. This side of my hair is the fullest. And so by me working on this side, it always sometimes kind of looks heavier on this side, which it still kind of does, but it balances out more with my part being on this side. But lately, I've just been kind of, you know, not really worrying about the whole part thing. I've just been kind of letting it just flow. You know, sometimes I'll do it like this and kind of have it all glow like this. Sometimes I'll put a twist right here. Just showing you guys a couple little Because I don't do much, you know. That was the whole purpose of me getting this. So I wouldn't have to really be too bothered with it. But sometimes I'll put like a little twist right here with just a couple bobby pins not much I'm gonna do it like that and have that look fluff up and then you gotta get your fluff on for your big hair <laughs> but um that's about it I don't like I said I don't do too much my whole philosophy for these sister locks are get up and go so I'm not spending time trying to do styles or you know because i could have developed my loose natural hair so i try to be as low maintenance and plus since i'm in the first year i don't want to manipulate it too much so i try to just do as many if i wake up and it looks like you know it's it's really i haven't had a bad hair day so usually when i wake up my hair is in my bonnet and sometimes it's a little smash when you land on it but i swear like when i get in the shower and that steam hits it it always brings it right back to life and i can kind of just fluff it out and keep it moving so i did say that i had a little bit of a run it's not nothing big it's just a, a story about um sister locks that it just amazes me how people see your hair me and my husband went to macy's and we were checking out in the men's apartment and I, there was a lady there was a head wrap on it was you know it was cute for, for what it was i'm not trying to be judgmental but <laughs> um it was cute or whatever and so she said oh i like your hair that that's really pretty um who did it and you know the whole red more who did it how much does it cost i said these are she thought they were braids she said i know it took a long time for them to get those braids i said um i said for two days these aren't braids these are sister locks and she i guess she had never heard of it so i kind of Went into explaining, went into explaining what sister locks were, which I don't like to do sometimes because you spend that time explaining and you get that, mm -hmm, you know, two days, how much? And that really irritates me. So, um, anyways, I told her I sat for two days. That was the first thing. Oh no, I wouldn't be able to sit for two days. Um, and I don't think I told her the price. I just told her because I don't like to quote prices per se because it's different for everyone's hair length, the density. And so forth and so on you ladies know so i don't want and then i got a huge discount so i don't want to quote anything or refer anyone to my loctician and then going in with the expectations of having you know something them giving her giving them information different than what i did so i kind of just tell them it just depends on the thickness and the length of your hair and you have to go in for a consultation whatever whatever anyways um, the two days thing she was really thrown off by that and what if you want to take them down she still didn't understand the whole concept that these are locks and so i said oh i'm not taking these down you know i'm i've done everything i want to do with my hair i'm sticking to this i love my hair i can get up and go 
Mm -mm, I would never be able to sit for two days in that. If it costs over $200, you pay too much. And <laughs> I just, but I told my husband, he's trying to take up for him because, you know, he's so sweet. So he's like, no, you know, th these are locks and she's not taking them down and she loves this. She, you know, trying to co-sign for me, take up for his life. But this lady, I'm looking like, okay, hey, you have a head wrap on your hair. You're covering up whatever it is that's going on under there. So obviously, you know, you don't take care I'm not gonna say she doesn't take care of her. I don't know, but it, it just looked like the way she looked. And I like said, I'm not being judgmental. I'm not like that, but she pissed me off. I'm talking about my locks. <laughs> so anyway, it's just those people that ask about it, and then once you give them the information, and they're, mm -hmm, I wouldn't pay that, or I wouldn't do that, and you know, what's for you is for you, and what's for me is for me. I made the best hair decision for my hair, and that's what I just wanted to let you ladies know, um, especially the newbies. You know, as you get to explaining and you know our hair is going through different stages so you have people uh you know all in your head and what is it doing now and why does it look like that and when are you going to get your neck you know i don't have any regrets about my hair i'm very confident i love it it was the best hair decision that i've ever made it was worth every sitting hour every dime penny nick everything i don't regret anything and i i would do it again so basically just have confidence and in your hair, you know, some days may be rough, but just have confidence and know that it's a process. Um, have patience and just let the journey do what it's going to do. Because in the end, two or three years from now, ladies, we're going to be bouncing and behaving, bouncing and behaving. Our hair is going to be, you know. So just, like I said, just trust the process. People don't understand this journey is your journey. And it's not for people to understand, you know. It's your hair. You made the decision. We've all done the research. None of us have just went just went to a consultation and with with no understanding a, a little understanding about what, what was going to go on with the process was we've all done looked at a lot of youtube videos um googled pinterest tumblr everything facebook we've all looked so we we know what we got ourselves into so just my advice is just in the 2017 year especially for people who just got their locks um patience 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 and just let your hair just do what it's going to do let it flourish um, low manipulation and just, you know, take care of it. You know, it, it's your hair. Let it do. You don't have to worry about all these different stages. You know, it's, you're going to get through it. The scalpy stage, you know, it's going to thicken up. It's, it's going to do what it's going to do in its own time. So don't look at your hair and compare it to mine or no one else's. Everyone has their own journey. And don't let outsiders who don't have locks or know anything about locks discourage your journey. All right, and that, so that's pretty much what I, all I wanted to say. It's just you'll get those people who are negative about it. And the people that love me and know me and that I care about, my family, my friends, they love my hair. So that's all that matters. Every time I see people out who really don't know about it and they kind of like it but don't like it. And I don't know if I could wear that forever. And what if you want to take, what if you want to take it down? I hate hearing it. What if you want to take it down? I don't want to take it down. <laughs> I'm 35 years old. I've had every hairstyle, every haircut, every hair color, every weave, braid, everything. I'm done with all that. I'm ready to just get up and go. And I know my husband loves it because I used to complain about my hair on a weekly basis. Every night, every day. Oh, what am I going to do with my hair? You know, it was a problem. So I'm going to stop rambling. Basically, I just want to say it's your journey. Let your hair do what it's going to do. And don't compare it to anyone else's. I love looking at lock videos. And there's so many new people out there. Guys and girls who have gotten locks. And everyone's journey is unique to their, you know, to their own. Um, everyone can't do what everyone else can do with their hair. And I just love that there are so many people embracing their natural hair. And letting their hair do what it's going to do. You know, you don't find too many people nowadays that are able to just wear their hair and feel comfortable in it. You have to be comfortable in your skin. It's, you know, it, it's a process. And um, it definitely um, brings out another side of you. You know, you have to find beauty within yourself to know that, you know, hey, my hair look, my hair looking good. I'm rocking this. You know, so um, that's all I wanted to say. I'm almost at 15 minutes. This is supposed to be a quick video. But anyways, um, happy New Year's. Happy holidays to everyone out there probably not going to come back on before 2017 so which is a couple days but <laughs> um just wanted to say to everyone 
Um, stay blessed. Um, be safe. And until next time, keep shaking, bouncing, and behaving. <laughs>